Hey everyone, and this is being practical. I'm sorry I've been away for a little minute. Um, life's been a little hectic, a little crazy. There are times when I can multitask really well, and there are times where it's just not an option. But I am back. So, in this video, we will be talking about none other than texturism. Y'all should have saw this coming. This was a video in the making. I'm surprised I didn't make it earlier. Now, for people who don't know what texturism is, it's basically discriminating against certain natural hair textures amongst black women. So we have hair textures in us ranging between 3A to 4C. And the higher the number, the tighter the curl. And you can imagine 4C being the most discriminated against. And I'm pretty sure we all see that through the media, through Instagram, through Facebook, through natural hair ads and natural hair care ads. You're seeing a lot of the 3B, 3C textures. Um, we're lucky if we get 4A, to be honest. So that is kind of one of many examples of just representation. 4C itself lacks representation. The four type spectrum honestly lacks a lot of representation. And it's not pushed on by the white man like we like to blame. It is us reinforcing these stereotypes and this one thing that we all want to look like when it comes to natural hair when we actually do want to appreciate natural hair it has to be a specific hair type and it's usually in the three range and I, I really love how a lot of us do like to say you know we're not a monolith but the moment that it is shown that we're not a monolith it's severe pushback it's really really bad pushback it can be kind of traumatizing and exhibit A would be the dark-skinned child that was a part of the H&M ad. That was beyond, I don't even know how to describe that. It was just disrespectful and it was very telling, honestly. You know, all things do happen for a reason. And this was very telling because this child and her hair is a representation of what, of what a lot of us look like in terms of our hair. It really is. And the fact that we were in denial and really pushing against it was really telling. I had to come out with a statement saying we are aware of the comments regarding one of our models for H&M Kids. We truly believe that all kids should be allowed to be kids. The school-age kids who model for us come to the photo studio in the afternoon after school, and we aim for a natural look, which reflects that. And our community just clowned this child for her natural hair. H&M had to come and defend her. It was so bad. Exhibit B. Blue Ivy. I remember this one like it was yesterday too. This child just, you know, J and B will bring her out with her natural hair. And everyone on social media will get to clowning her and her type four hair. And the girl is, is growing. She's getting older. And look at her hair now. Full healthy and look at y'all's most of y'all still trying to find the edges you lost in middle school it, it it's just the math is not mathing when we say we're not a monolith and when that showcase we push back it nothing is adding up honestly and we we need to do better and lastly, it honestly just dawned on me, 
lately I haven't like when I've been looking into a lot of these natural hair companies which are amazing by the way no sh no shade to them there are really a lot of them don't carry the 4C hair type and I'm trying to figure out is it because it doesn't sell because at the end of the day this is a business or is it something that the companies just don't want to bother carrying? Because I do see a lot with the 4A, 4B hair type. So that's good. But 4C is not as common as the 3 and 4A type within these companies. So that's also interesting within itself. But... This is being practical and the whole point of my channel and these videos is really simply to say that wearing your natural hair in its natural form, in its natural state, is the most practical thing you can do. That's what my videos break down. That is the explanation. That is, that is why I say what I say. It's the most practical thing you can do. So, I will see you all in the next video.